Let's review the beginner's uh, board challenge. Uh, so obviously that doesn't work, and, and that, that's the thing, right? That's why I recommend, at least for those who are still, you know, struggling with the basics of JavaScript, whenever we have a board challenge, I recommend you to, to play with example on the dev tools because as soon as I write down the algorithm on dev tools, it's telling you immediately the first typo, right? So, so can, first, before going through the fundamentals of the exercise, so can you tell me wh why this is syntactically, syntactically speaking wrong? So what are, what are we missing in here? Semicolon. Semicolon, no. No, se parenthesis. parenthesis, right? So you missed that one this morning, right? <laughs> that's, that's the first thing. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, what the algorithm is trying to do yet, but I know that this is wrong, right? So for now, I just put it, right? Correct. So, can anyone give me an example of how to invoke it? For example, do I have orange? So how the, f sorry, this is plural, how fruits should look like? What's that? Object, array, string? <coughs> object. Is this an object? It's an array. So, okay, can you convince each other? So Alex says that this is an object. Tom says that this is an array. Why Alex an object? Why Tom an array? It would have been an object if we had other properties for the fruit, but in this case it's an array. Why is an array? Because we have... Fine, correct. Look, that's the key, right? That's the key word. Fine works with arrays. So we are doing fruits of fine. This is the message, right? Fruits is an array. It's an array of what? It's an array, for example, will, will this work? Why not? It's an array of objects. Why is an array of objects? Name. Correct. Look, dot name. So this is telling you that in reality, this is an array of objects. That's very important. Before doing any coding, the first thing is to understand how the data model looks like, right? So will this be okay? Will this be a valid data model? What do you think? Yeah. Cool. All right. That orange is both Well, okay, yeah, yeah, that, fine, fine. Okay, I'm not against that. I'm, I was just looking for the shape, the structure of the exercise, right? Okay, now look back to the details. What this, if I run the example now, what will it return? Nothing. nothing. Nothing was nothing. Nil, undefined, zero, mm -hmm. false, empty string. Uh, undefined. <laughs> undefined. Undefined. The whole object. Name I think. Right. That's definitely not what this is going to return. So you're not going to return the full object, for sure, 100% sure. The question is, I, I think you are all wrong, and I, I could be wrong, but I think this is so an error. Why, Jim? <coughs> Sorry, say it again? No, let's, let's run it. <laughs> Correct, well, <laughs> No, no, that's not the problem, Kayo. Look what happens if I run the example. Well, it returns undefined, but it returns undefined instead of the object because of what's wrong here. Hey. The, fruit the fruits. Kayo, do you remember that? You got the fruit. This is the individual fruit, right? Okay. So we want to compare against that particular fruit. Make sense? Cool. So what will it return now? So you was suggesting this morning that this algorithm will return either true or false. Do you agree on that? It, it will return orange, but what? true because orange is the first one, right? Yeah, that's correct. The condition will be met at some point. That's correct. But what the function will return? What will it be displayed at the bottom? True. True. So Kayo says true. That's not correct. Next one. So uh, Mobin says orange. Oh, That's not correct, neither. Next one. Oh, sorry, the object, object. So Tom says the object, right? That's correct. That's correct. Because 
find will look at right for the first the first object matching this condition and once it finds it it will return the entire object right so that should return name orange price one dot twenty three whatever exactly you see Retur returns the entire object so moving was suggesting to return orange what do we need to change on the algorithm to just literally return orange you need a variable right can we do it without the variable put the name like that right right so what happening now so now will it return orange just a string i think so right but but what happened if we got that? What will this return? Undefined? Okay. Wrong. So who said undefined? <laughs> Alex? <laughs> no. What's in? Undefined. That's wrong. Next. False. So Mobin said false. Error. Wrong. Error. And Tom? Zero the pair, so Tom said error, and that's right. Uh, 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 You're doing dot name of, uh, correct, uh, correct. So tell me, ignore the name, ignore the name. Just a highlighted text. What the highlighted text will return? Correct. What happened if you try to do undefined dot name? This is mind blowing, right? This will return not. This that doesn't make sense at all. Boom. Cannot read property name of undefined. Errors, fortunately, today in 2018, are quite uh, useful, yeah. right? Quite descriptive, exactly. Name of undefined, right? So, how do we control that? Imagine that we really want to return the name, but for example, if we don't find the fruit, we want to return an empty string. How do we do that? So maybe we can assign a uh, more function to Yeah, uh, let. Uh, Found fruit, okay. If then what? Return something like what? So no, I. Well, we'll go back to the terminal operator. Let's use the classic if-else structure. Return what? I want the name of the fruit. We found orange. Yes. Like Re return fruit like that? No. Found fruit and name. Else? As what? I want to return an empty string if we don't find the name of the fruit. Return, return empty string. So, what will this example return right now? Empty string. Gene is right, you see? And what if I put the, the orange back? What will this example return? Orange. Correct. That's correct. Can we replace this very long and unnecessary structure with a ternary operator? Yeah. How? Sorry, Mobin, say it again? Just a colon. A colon. No. So we, we still need the if else, but instead of typing if mm -hmm, else, mm -hmm, I want to use the ternary operator. So found fruit question mark right so what will this return nothing, nothing. what nothing is undefined will it return undefined yes it will return undefined why why Correct. Remember, when you have a function, remember to add the return statement. Because otherwise, the function doesn't return anything, right? So now, if we got the orange, it returns the orange. If we don't get the orange, it returns empty string. Right? That's correct. Any question? Right? One question, not yes. so related to this, but do you think that CMS platforms will eventually make this kind of coding obsolete? 
Ah, uh, never. Uh, <laughs> why do you say that? Like with the Dragon Rock features of everything and all the new stuff. What was what's like the need for this in the future? Because, we, because you still need this to create those things. Exactly. <laughs> and also, with code, you've got full control on your logic. If you got drag and drop and things like that, I mean, don't get me wrong, for coding, we already use drag and drop. For example, coding for kids. The kids are learning to code using drag and drop. If they drag if, else they drag else. So yeah. to start with the fundamentals of coding, that may be useful. But at some point, <laughs> if you want to have full control, you need to do low level, right? Uh, for example, for clients, for yeah. Like, yeah. Again, for basic things, it's okay. But at some point, if you want to have full control, you need to use coding. At least today. Maybe in 10 years' time, it will change. Who knows? Cool. Any question regarding the beginner? So this morning, you have failed to provide the right answer. But, but... <laughs> He's the only one who has said something very interesting, and that's why he got half a point on top of all his uh, mistakes. Uh, you. Not you, but you. Yeah. No, not because of the typos, because of the readability of the algorithm. He said something very interesting, and to be honest, I, I didn't even thought about that. But what he mentioned is, wait a minute, if my function name is called do I have orange, me, as a developer, Ignoring what's going on, my feeling, my first attempt will be to think that this function is returning a boolean. Do I have? Yes or no. True or false. However, this is not returning a boolean. It's returning an, an object or a string. So that, that's, that was very positive because you, you argue that to, in your opinion, the name of the function you know, may not be the best, right? So don't miss the opportunity. <laughs> to complain about semantics because that proves that you look after the details, right? I didn't thought about that, but you spotted it. Nice. Well, what would be a better name? A better name. Well, if, if you return the name, um, if, I don't know, get, uh, get first orange name, something like that. I know this could be a bit confusing, but sometimes I know that people tend to avoid writing long function names, but I'm the opposite. I prefer to write long, but descriptive function names, right? If I call it get orange, it's short, it's clear, but it's not really re reflecting what we're trying to do. If we get get orange name, hey, at least you are telling that you, out of the other properties that an orange can have, name, price, size, you want the name, right? So you are telling your team what your intentions are. Right? So try to be as much descriptive as possible on the name of the function, regardless of how ugly it looks like from the length point of view. Cool? So this was the beginner, and now let's have a look to the intermediate, right? We had to do a few things in here, and the first problem is, again, look, I don't know what's going on, I have no idea what's the purpose of the transform method, but I can clearly see that something is not quite well. Right? There are typos in here. So what's the first typo you can easily spot? The parentheses. The parentheses. Thank you, Alex. So parentheses, look, we're closing the uh, curly brace bracket, but where are we closing that parentheses? Nowhere, right? <coughs> so let's put it. Still complaining. Why is it still complaining? Something is not quite... It's the bracket. I don't think... Which one? I don't think. Because the bracket... Look, we're opening the bracket. We're closing it here. If we hover the error, unexpected token. That's interesting. Why? There is another typo. What is the other typo? You deleted your token. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, yes, that's correct. Look, look, we got the ternary operator, right? If something, then, mm -hmm -hmm. but where is the else, right? We don't have any else. And to be honest, that was my fault because that was correct on the example, but I forgot to put it, right? So I think we're expecting to have that. Cool. So now no errors. So what will this example return? I'm going to give you an example of, of, uh, of an input. I don't want to call it fruit, right? Otherwise, it won't work. ID. So if the ID is 
uh, Wonder Woman, just to hijack with the, what we've done before. If this is our ID, what will this example return? So you said nothing. I think that's correct. Why nothing? Correct. We're missing the return statement. Right? So now, once we have the return statement, what will this example return? If, we ha if our ID is ID equals Wonder Woman. Let's put it here. Any idea? So wonder oh oops sorry. Like that? Yeah. I think that's correct. And let's review why. First of all, let's see if it works and then let's review what happens. Uh, yeah, here you go. You see? That's the result, that's what Gray suggested. So he's right. Why? Look. We can even add a breakpoint, maybe. Yes, let's add a breakpoint. So our ID is wonder dash woman. So the first thing we do is to split it. So what do we get after splitting Wonder Woman? Alex? An array? Which ones? That's correct. That's correct. So when we do string dot split with a hyphen, whatever symbol we put here, it will take our string and it will create an array of as many elements as we get by splitting, by dividing, by chopping our string, taking this reference, right? So we get an array of two elements, wonder and woman. And then, what do we do here? What's going on here? Look, we said, if we don't have any index, will this ever happen? Will it be in a scenario where we don't have any index? What's the index? What's the first value of the index? Zero. zero. Will zero be evaluated as truthy or falsy? Falsy. That's what you failed this morning as well. So you said, no, this is bullshit. This will never run. <laughs> Right? So if we got zero, zero is evaluated in JavaScript as falsy. That means that on the first iteration, what's the value of index? Zero. Will it do that, whatever is going on, or that? A or B? A or B? B, else, correct. So what we know, if after the first iteration, wonder will remain without changes, right? Because you remember how map works. With map, we take a string or whatever, and we can transform it into a new string. But in that particular case, what's the first value of the token in the first iteration? Wonder, correct. We take wonder as an input and we generate as the output the same thing. So we don't touch it, we don't change it, right? So after the first iteration, we got wonder. And then let's have a look to the second iteration. This is the complicated one. So, what's the value of index on the second iteration? One. Will one be evaluated as truthy or falsy? Correct. So, will it run if or else? If. if. Correct. So then, this is the complicated bit. Let's 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 pay attention to what's going on here. So, what we do? Let's just start create. Let's just start writing it. The solution. So, it will do something plus something else. So, what's the first part? What is token zero? First letter, correct. What's to uppercase? Correct. For now, we got that, right? Capital W. And then, what's token dot slice one doing? Correct. Alex is right. So when we do slice one, we're telling how many characters do we want to remove from this string. So this is our string. We want to remove one character. So we got O M A N. A N. Right? 
So this is what we got after running map two times. We took one string and map always returns another stream with the same size, two elements, but transformed. The first element of the string remains the same, but for the second element of the string, we're capitalizing it. We're changing lower W with capital W, right? And then finally, what's join empty string doing here on this array? And what we get back by joining to an array of two strings? Like that, right? Correct. What happens if instead of joining empty string, we do that? Split. Split? But what's the result, uh, Chandon? So Tom suggests that the result will be wonder does woman with capital. Is that correct? No? Wonder space dot woman. Why space? Let's have a look. Look, let me get rid of the breakpoint. It's not doing any space. Look, if we have an array and we're joining with a hyphen, with a dash, that means that the element of the array will be, you'll get a string and the element that will separate the different strings of the array will be a dash. So how do we change that if we want to make it more readable? If we want to add that, Wonder Woman, what do we have to change? Correct. As simple as that, right? So now we got wonder and we'll be joined with woman and there will be a space in the middle. Look, it works, you see? It's as simple as that. Is there any question? No? Right, so last question for you guys. Um, what's the technical way to describe the input? Remember, the input is wonder does woman how you how do you this how do you tell what's the technical way to, to to describe this pattern where you have several words concatenated using hyphen tom this is kebab case correct probably you hear about that like also dash case or lisp case lisp is a programming language but yeah, I think today in the 21st century, most of the millennials prefer to call it kebab cake, right? You know why kebab? That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's why it's called kebab cake, right? This is the input. But then on the output, we got Wonder Woman. So what's the way to, how do we call that? Camel case. Okay, and this, even though this is not related, so how do you call that one, one the underscore woman? A snake case. Why snake case? Why camel case, the one above? It looks like a camel, correct. And last one. 99% of the senior developers ignore this one. What's that? What? Me case. I never heard that. It's Pascal case. It's Pascal case. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Most of the time, there are multiple ways to describe. So what you, what you say, I'm sure this is correct, but I never heard that. My name is Pascal, and this is Pascal. Ah, ah your name is... Ah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, this is Alex case. Right? <laughs> For the rest of the world... <laughs> <laughs> this is Pascal case again because Pascal same as Lisp these are already old but still use programming languages right any question no cool that was it guys new board challenge on the wall shortly thank you